I'm excited to talk to you today about the role of Dynamics AX2012 in what Microsoft refers to as Operations 2.0. Uh, but first, let me introduce myself. I'm Colin Masson. I am the Worldwide Director for the Operations category of solutions within Microsoft's Enterprise Partner Group. Uh, what that means is I work with uh, our large enterprise customers uh, and our partners in delivering solutions that address today's dynamic uh, business operations. And now a little bit more about myself. I've really been working on addressing the problem of dynamic business operations since uh, the mid 80s, giving away my age a little bit there. Uh, but uh, I've really worked on everything from uh, administrative ERP um, to uh, manufacturing execution systems and control systems uh, in lean manufacturing. And uh, some of you may know me from my, uh, the five years I spent at uh, AMR Research, uh, which is now part of Gartner, um, and I was really the, uh, the brains behind uh, manufacturing uh, 2.0. Uh, and I really joined Microsoft to uh, expand upon that uh, and really expand beyond manufacturing 2.0 to the broader role uh, of manufacturing within end-to-end uh, -end, uh, operations. So I'm really excited to now talk to you about the pivotal role that I see Dynamics AX 2012 uh, playing in that. And I'm not the only one that sees the need for a change and, and a paradigm shift from traditional operations where we owned the end-to-end -end, uh, uh, operation to really today's much more dynamic environment where we're working with lots of partners and having to continuously adapt our our day-to-day uh, -day operations to deliver new products and new services uh, in the context of ever-decreasing uh, product life cycles. Um, right now, you'll be looking at a slide that really refers to um, IDC's uh, take on this, that really there is a need for a separate enterprise-wide operational platform that's just as important as the corporate financial ERP platform uh, to address uh, uh, really the, uh, the paradigm shift to uh, Operations 2.0. Now, if we look at what we really need to be able to do to deliver on the promise of end-to-end uh, -end, uh, operations management, you know, being able to bring together all the people in the organization to have adaptive processes and bring together the complex ecosystem that you have to work with today uh, where you're working with contract manufacturers, co-packers, uh, third-party logistics providers, uh, a whole host of partners really to deliver uh, products and services to the customer, you really need an operations management platform that can bring together uh, all of those capabilities, which means they have to be intuitive, they have to be designed around uh, uh, people, uh, they have to uh, exploit the community, and your biggest community is really in operations. Uh, depending on the business you're in, 60 to 80 percent of your people in the organization are engaged in the day-to-day -day operation of manufacturing in the warehouse, uh, delivering products uh, and services uh, to customers. But you've also got to strike the, strike the right balance with this platform of providing global visibility, so how is every manufacturing site performing, uh, what are the overall costs, where should you deliver products and services from, um, but at the same time not driving uh, standardization across the business to the point where the need for locally differentiated products and services um, is uh, uh, eliminated or you're providing barriers to that. You want to cultivate uh, local entrepreneurship. And then, as I mentioned earlier, you've really got to have the ability on this platform to focus on the customer uh, and be able to deliver uh, on demand uh, the specific uh, products and services that they need. But you need to do it by uh, collaborating with a complex ecosystem of uh, 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 partners. So it's a multi-enterprise collaboration that you have to enable with this platform. And we see there being three key pillars on that platform, operations intelligence, operations process management, and operational ERP. If I drill a little bit deeper into what each of those three pillars are, um, operations intelligence is different from classic BI. It's uh, real time. It's pervasive. It's not just for the business analysts. It's something that um, that 60 to 80 percent of your workforce all need critical information to be able to respond appropriately uh, to uh, the dynamics uh, in the day-to-day uh, uh, -day operations. 
um, you've also got to be able to uh, contextualize their role in operations with the, the greater business uh, needs. So how is a, a, an excursion or a quality problem in um, operations going to affect particular customers? This is all going to be brought into context. So really there's some very different capabilities that you need from operations intelligence than, than classic uh, business intelligence. Operations process management, similarly, I'm not talking about um, orchestrating a few transactions at the business level. I'm talking about having to orchestrate workflow across the sometimes hundreds of different applications that you may use in manufacturing and in the warehouse. Um, I'm also having to deal with uh, documents, uh, people, uh, and sensors, not just an automated uh, workflow. So the ability to really um, uh, Orchestrate a workflow across all of those different environments is a, a key differentiator of uh, the operations process management from business process management. But really, the thing that we're talking about today that really uh, differentiates and fills out this platform, we've had these other capabilities in the Microsoft stack for some time. Really, what I'm excited to talk about now is really the role of Dynamics uh, AX uh, 2012 is the operational ERP pillar. And what's exciting about this particular uh, release of the product is now we have a model-based approach so we can dynamically configure uh, processes um, because they, are, uh, they don't require code to configure them. You can actually model them and adapt them readily over time. And nowhere do you need to adapt uh, processes more frequently than in uh, the uh, high fidelity uh, operations where rubber meets the road, if you will. The other capabilities in uh, Dynamics AX 2012 that excite me uh, and I haven't seen in my 25 plus years of uh, working with uh, uh, various forms of ERP um, is that you can have multiple styles of manufacturing uh, uh, in the same instance of uh, uh, Dynamics AX. So you can deal with uh, process manufacturing discrete manufacturing and lean manufacturing styles. And quite frankly, in my experience, um, most manufacturers have uh, all three of those uh, in their operation. You can also deal with multiple industry models. So if you have, for example, I've dealt with a lot of large enterprise customers. I'm a, a chemical engineer, and I've really been uh, supporting many chemical companies in the past. But they typically will have uh, commodity chemicals, specialty chemicals, and let's say pharmaceuticals. You can have different industry models supporting those. So really the ability now to bring all of these capabilities together on a common IT platform for operations management is what's got me excited about uh, Microsoft's ability to work with uh, the most comprehensive partner ecosystem and deliver these solutions uh, to our large enterprise customers. So to summarize, uh, some of these capabilities, we're now talking about a platform that really, one, it improves people's effectiveness, two, it allows us to get the right balance of um, driving standardization uh, across the business where that makes sense, but also allowing for those differentiated products and services to be delivered and cultivate a, uh, a culture of innovation, allowing people to drive process entrepreneurship for their particular business and not be constrained by a traditional legacy administrative ERP system. Uh, and that term is a Gartner term defining the old style of ERP that really is focused on global standardized processes like, uh, like uh, financial management, perhaps your global procurement and your maybe order centralized order management. We are now able to support a higher degree of adaptability and differentiation across all the different business units within the, your organization. But we can also support the multi-enterprise collaboration that you need um, with, uh, in other words, uh, working with supplier relationship management and, and working with contract manufacturers, uh, your uh, 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 suppliers, uh, and your uh, uh, delivery uh, providers um, and enabling that not as an afterthought but as part of a multi-enterprise uh, solution. And we do that with a comprehensive ecosystem of partners. According to the last estimates I saw from Gartner, 90 to 95 percent of the manufacturing solutions uh, on the shop floor are running on 
uh, Microsoft technology today. So it's a logical evolution to now think about your end-to-end -end operations management platform, uh, all exploiting that same set of uh, technologies, but critically adding this capability of a, a modern business uh, platform, uh, a modern operational ERP into the mix. So I'd, I'd love to talk to you more about uh, our vision for Operations 2.0, define what that means. But uh, with the time we have left, I'm going to refer you to a white paper that we've uh, worked with, with the IDC. Uh, and that white paper uh, is available on uh, my, the Microsoft.com website. I really look forward to uh, getting your feedback on that and uh, discussing with uh, your Microsoft uh, uh, partner uh, or ourselves, really, uh, where can you go with uh, the Microsoft platform for operations management, and particularly with uh, Dynamics AX 2012 as the missing link that we've now added into that platform.